Hello everybody, this is me, Mark to decide to do a video. Just quitting music is like a musician without music. It's, it's pointless, meaningless, useless, and lifeless, you know what I'm saying? And the reason I did music is it was my only way of escaping insanity, dealing with hardships, you know what I'm saying, depression and all that, you know? I just want to get this out of my system because I'm literally living alone. I was talking to an interesting guy on Twitter and all that. He was saying how I'm very thankful to say I got like a small follower of 4,000 people, which I'm very thankful to say that. You know, but I, did, I told the gentleman, I said, numbers isn't everything, you know what I'm saying? You know, people are, you know, I'm very painfully realizing this too. I, I, and I knew this back in my mind, you know, that, you know, social media is fickle, you know what I'm saying? And if you can't rely, you know, you can't rely on people. You can't depend on people. You know what I'm saying? And and I had to force to quit music, not because I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? It's like people take advantage of me, you know, scam me and all that. Don't take me seriously. You know? Some say, why don't you do it yourself? I can't do it myself. I'm not a producer. I'm not a composer. I try to went to school for um, multimedia production, you know, broadcast technology and all that, but the teachers weren't interested. The ministries weren't interested in helping me. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to put the effort and time into it, but they just won't, like, you know, so I'm not tech savvy. And I even fail IT and all that. You know what I'm saying? Music was really like comfort food. You know, now it's like, as I'm getting older, I just feel like I'm just, I don't know, I feel like at times I'm burning out or dying or something. You know what I'm saying? And there's nobody to really relate to, you know what I'm saying? I make music for hopefully for people like me that, you know what I'm saying, that just tired, you know, just struggle and tired of fight, you know? And overall, I feel like my life is just um being drained or so, you know? It's kind of funny, me and my cut last night was, you know, drinking and so, and I had to take care of something that was going on with the apartment and stuff. I guess it's pre pressing matters on their end, but it's like, um, he was saying how you got gray beard and all your, your hair falling out and all. I said, of course, especially if you feel like you have to be the captain. You know what I'm saying? Not only I'm doing, I was doing music, I'm doing videos, I'm doing social media, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Content. So I, I'm doing four jobs. I'm working four times harder than the average man can even dream of, you know what I'm saying? And I feel, I mean, my, also my lady was just talking about that. Felt like She always felt like people underestimate her, undermine her. She felt like she had to work two times hard. I told her, try 10. Especially, not only I'm black, I'm also disabled. And I'm also a man, you know what I'm saying? So, especially environments here, they're very prejudiced, you know what I'm saying? Let me be real, racist and sexist against black men, you know what I'm saying? And I'm very thankful for my job or something, but that's literally just... My, that's it, you know what I'm saying? My disability, literally most of it is paid rent and stuff, my utilities and stuff, bills and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So after that, after I, and I take care of my affairs, I'll be flat broke, you know what I'm saying? So I got to work, you know what I'm saying? And people don't take the time out to actually know me and all that. And I commit, you know, age and morality and all that, you know? Yeah, my hair's falling out, you know? beard all gray and all that and say why don't you die and all that I said well, why that costs more money just you know my dad used to die his hair all the time I said it's kind of funny he said, my dad, you can't fight time you know what I'm saying I just feel like I'm going crazy or so and I just you know I'm, I refuse to let people just talk down to me you know take advantage of me and all that all my life I've been doing that for both personal and business affairs you know what I'm saying I'm just like I have nothing left, like literally in a tank of me. I have no creativity left, you know. It's like, how are you supposed to be a superhero if you ain't got no superpowers, you know what I'm saying? And music was my only superpower, you know. They don't know what it's like to be me. They really, you know, nobody don't take time out to genuine know because I have to make these videos, you know. Um, yeah, therapists and psychologists don't care. They're, you know, they're just prostitutes, you know what I'm saying? Mental health prostitutes, you know, I'm just being real. They don't care about my well-being, what I go through, and all. Plus, a lot of them are not black anyway, so, oops. Or even they were, they don't care either way, you know, just, just an ends to a mean, you know. 
it, 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 it sucks that I had to come off like this, but it's like for two days since I was forced to quit my music. And that because dealing with this AEC, I thought I was supposed to, you know, get somewhere. You know, I feel like it just wasted my time for four months not taking me seriously. And last month or so, out of four months, that's when, you know, I had signed me to a producer, but, you know, the producer got sick. He got other objectives and obligations. And, he, you know, so then he trying to like indirectly say I was making excuses. I said, What the hell do you mean? Ain't my fault that you send me incompetent producers. Ain't my fault you send me a bunch of, like, a bunch of links. For um, you know, leaking an email, but um, I blocked them on social media. Blocked me on social media. So, you know, it was just all bad all together. You know what I'm saying? And some say, why you signed that dream? I said, cause I'm, I'm tired of living, being around average people. I'm tired of just seeing just average people. It's like, I'm tired of being around a bunch of androids. I'm tired of being around NPCs, faultless like like faultless machines. It's like all they do is live and breathe and average. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just tired of just living the average life. You know, I'm, I'm just tired. I am beyond sick and tired, you know. You know, and I've been doing this for 20 years. And I had to throw in the towel, you know. So I'm just feel like maybe my life might be thrown away, you know. I have nothing to live for after this, you know. Yeah, I work a, you know, a minimum wage job, you know. And they took my love for making music into a, a joke, you know what I'm saying. They insulted my work, you know. Call me incompetent. I said, you guys are incompetent. I call, I'll literally call the AC garbage, you know what I'm saying? So, that being said, it's like, why do they think they deserve my money, but they didn't want to put no effort and time into me, you know what I'm saying? And I deal with that with various producers, too. It's like, you know what I'm saying? And a so-called useless promoter, you know what I'm saying? A, a woman promoter, she's garbage. I had to block her, too. It's like, I'm, I'm dealing with nothing but useless people in my life, you know what I'm saying? And... I had to take fair, you know what I'm saying? I was just so tired of people just lying to me, letting me down, making excuses and all that. But I put 110%, then, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting much more than the average man can even dream of, you know what I'm saying? And I realize I'm not average, you know what I'm saying? I'm a extraordinary, you know? I see myself above average, you know? Especially, you know, living in America, you know, psychotics and already hate blacks and disabled mental health and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That being said, Marta's definitely out.